on my way to work today. On my way to work today. Up the hill. Up the hill. Bike vlogger here. Waking up in the morning. Morning time. Is it bike week yet? Is it bike of the month? Is it bike month? Is it bike day? No, not until May. Not until May. It is April right now. Mid-April. Feels wonderful outside. Uh, bike month or bike day is a day out of the year in which people bike commute to work. Of course, I bike commute all the time, so every day is bike to work day for me. But I figured for this week, we'll do a daily video, a little topic about getting started bike commuting. So what's today's topic? Day one, Monday, picking out a route and parking. So, when you're picking out a route, going to work in the morning on a bike, you want to pick a route that's going to get you there relatively quickly and safely. Now, in the early morning, you don't really have to worry about traffic. So, as you can tell on this road, it's pretty dang empty. Woo. But as the morning progresses, and it's not so early in the morning, there'll be a lot of uh, people on the road. So what I like to do in those situations is I kind of go along a parallel road that has uh, less traffic, typically a residential road. That's just me. Now you could just stick to the main road. The reason I don't like these big roads is they tend to be pretty loud, windy, not a lot of shade, and smelly with all the exhaust from the cars. Of course, in the morning time, it works out great. At the end of the day though, when I go home from work, usually not so great because it's usually pretty stinky by then. So I tend to avoid the really big roads around that time of day. So what about you? I don't know. Sometimes you don't have a lot of options and you don't can go on the main road. Now, the one thing about the main roads, like the one big road, or the big roads that a lot of traffic use, is they may be in better condition. Like this road is, this road is pretty dang smooth. <laughs> I have to say, it's a pretty smooth road. Whew. When I go down those little residential roads, they tend not to be very smooth. So that's the one benefit of taking the main road. Whew. Of course, one thing I don't like about the big roads, stoplights. You know, you can uh, slow down and stop at a stop sign and then go. Stoplight though, you gotta stop it. And, you know, you could, I don't very often see cyclists go through red lights, but it happens. I don't recommend it at all, because, think about it. A city spent millions of dollars to put in a stoplight, so there's a good reason for it. You know, a stop sign costs, I don't know, it depends, I guess, if you need to do a, a traffic study or not, but putting in a stop sign is super cheap. But putting in street lights isn't cheap. So they usually, usually a city thinks about it a lot before they put in a stoplight. So there's usually a good reason you should stop <laughs> when the light is red. But anyway, there are times when it's like, I don't know, it's the light isn't changing for you. And then it depends on where you live. Where I live, if it goes through a cycle and it's not changing, 
there may be something wrong with the light or it may just not be detecting your bike now, there's a couple different lights uh, there's the kind that have a little camera to detect you know an object pretty much breaking the beam of the camera and then there's the type with the little magnetic strips in the ground these are little uh strips that detect you know steel or something you know metal and you can activate those by rolling your bike over top of them uh the only time where they definitely wouldn't activate is if you hadn't have you know a full carbon bike with carbon fiber wheel rims so very unlikely you're going to be riding that kind of bike when you're bike commuting but it is a possibility you never know if you want to splurge so so far i have not seen any cars on the road except i've seen two police officers so there you go so that's uh pretty pretty dang quiet right now i left here Woo. On my way to work today. On my way to work to that hill. Up the hill. Now the stoplight up here is kind of nice because it's flashing, which means uh, you treat it as a stop sign. So in terms of parking. I got a couple videos, I'll put them in the uh, video description below. But uh, in terms of parking, make sure you lock up your bike right. And uh, if you're going to park, you know, on the street, near the street, whew, make sure uh, you're locking up to something that's really solidly in the ground. Uh, but you gotta be courteous. I mean, I, I've locked to, uh, you know, like no parking signs before, but I always try to make sure uh, that, you know, make sure that I'm not impeding uh, pedestrian traffic. So basically just keep your bike out of the way. Usually you're not gonna have any problem, you know, with the city coming and cutting your your bike lock and taking your bike or whatever or whatever because you're parked illegally so to speak uh, so just make sure you, you know you're thinking about it you're sensitive to that so now yeah, why well, that's the bike commute for the day that was monday we'll see you tomorrow as we chat again in the morning Bye, vlogger out.